There we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer Alex. Welcome to Carnival Massacre. This is a demo for upcoming horror game that definitely piqued my interest. Because from what I saw from the little uh, photos and the little small trailer, it definitely seems to be going for that kind of old uh, PlayStation One and Two stuff. Its graphics and style, similar to that of games I play on channel like uh, Red Old Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Parasite Eve, Dino Crisis, that kind of style. And, well, if you guys have been on the channel long enough, you guys know that kind of style, that, like, old, uh, PlayStation, like, PSX, uh, survival horror style. It's basically my cocaine. <laughs> I'm freaking addicted to those kinds of games. They're, they're so much fun. Hell, the V I made yesterday, Be Crowned, was basically, uh, very heavily inspired by Silent Hill. It had a similar style. <laughs> I love those style of games. They're so fun for me. So, of course, when I saw there's another one, and one set in a carnival, you couldn't ask for more. So, of course, we're going to check out. Let's look at settings first. Video resolution. 720, that's it? Okay, okay. A bit weird. I guess I'll go for 720. It's hoping for a bit more than 720, but I'll go for it. Um, I did hear some music's copyright, so... We gotta be a bit careful. There's no, like, turn off music or anything, just volume. I want to hear stuff in the game, but I was warned that there are copyright music in here, so we gotta be a bit careful. Okay, well, let's check out the game. I don't think they're gonna open the door. Oh, I guess it was a nightmare. Or is it reality? Dun dun dun! Yeah, this old, like, PSX style is definitely my kind of style for these games. I love them. They're fun. They're so much fun. You guys know I'm a sucker for this PSX style, especially for survival horror games. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the modern survival horror games that come out, stuff like the new Dead Space remake that came out last year, stuff like that, it's still fun, I still love those. But I'm, I'm still a sucker for this old style. Maybe it's because I grew up playing a lot of those kinds of games on the PlayStation 2, so maybe it's just nostalgia, but I love them. Uh... Oh, Pebbles Wonderland. Now open. This sign didn't age well. Okay, so which way are we going? Okay, can't even go that way, so can't go past these, or... I can, okay, well then this is the way we need to go. Do I have an inventory system? Yes, I do. So, Chloe's missing poster. I keep having nightmares about her. She must be at that stupid theme park. If the police can't find her, then I will. She is my little sister, after all. Ah, okay, I see. So she's uh, out here looking for her little sister. And she believes she's at the theme park. Well, then let's go find her. Hopefully alive. <laughs> Pebbles Wonderland and Lampshade. And tunnel we go. Oh yeah, also, this game is made by Bedtime Stories Games, and we've actually played a few of their games on the channel. Such as, uh, Sail by Salute, which was a, uh, Bioshock-inspired game. And a few others. So we played a few of their games on the channel. Okay. It's been a while since I've been to a theme park. I see tasty corn dogs, hot dogs. Pebbles Wonderland. Uh oh, I see police tape. That's not a good sign. But I also see a random van. Why is there just a random van here? Someone's ugly van is parked here. I mean, yeah, it is kind of ugly. <laughs> Even I can't deny that. Yeah, I see the police tape. 
Police tape that says do not cross. I'm going to do the opposite, of course. But shutters down behind the tape. Yeah. And they just leave that unlocked. Um. Welcome. Fortune teller. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, because that's not creepy at all and probably alive. Seek answers. Oh, oh. It literally says save with the bright letters. That's cool. So is this our save system? Use a token to see my progress. Okay. I guess we don't have a token, though. Yeah, I don't have a token. So, okay, so it's one of those systems where we actually need an item to save. Storage box. Okay, so it's, it's basically a, a safe room. Kind of like in Resident Evil at the typewriter rooms. You're kidding me. An old lever action shotgun. We just started a game. We're already getting a shotgun? <laughs> ah, don't mind if I do. What's this doing here? We'll take the carnival shotgun. Of course. Oh, I actually need to use the mouse for it. Yeah, we're taking the ammo. Can I equip the gun? It looks like it used to be an air gun. Weird. Hey, I mean, I guess they're gonna modify it to make it a real gun. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so here's the aim system. Uh, It looks like it can't aim up or down, so it's just forward. Okay. Because some of the older survival horror games like Resident Evil and Silent Hill used to do that. We had to, like, aim up or down. <laughs> Stay away. Our first enemy? Bada boom! One shot! Was she a person or, like, a doll or something? I can't really tell. Will it take tokens? Yes. Oh, there's more than one. Okay. Yeah, I'll take those. I'll also take the pizza. No pizza? And her body disappeared. Should I save? I, let me go ahead and just save using one of the tokens. That is a cool save system. And I do like the carnival setting, because most older style horror games usually have a carnival setting, like in Silent Hill 1 and such. You don't get to see much at a carnival in Silent Hill 1, and it's very rusted and decayed. I mean, you get to see it better, you get to see it a lot better in Silent Hill 3. But even then, like I said, it's all like decayed and such. Because, well, it's Silent Hill. So it is cool having a setting of an actual, like, proper carnival that's not all decayed or destroyed or even abandoned. It actually looks like it's fully operational. Because a lot of these horror games that you do have arcade usually is, like, abandoned in or in ruins. Like with, uh, like with, um... Uh, what was the one we just did? Indigo Park. Kind of like that. Where it's all like in ruins and such. Just pile of documents. Oh wait. We take the... I mean, I'll take the 9mm, but we also got a shotgun. What's this? Cat register? Ah. Achoo! Excuse me. Whew. Allergies. Brr. Oh, I see a token. Yes, we will be taking that. Thank you. The movements is actually pretty smooth. Even the aiming is actually very smooth. The movements, it's it's actually very smooth. It doesn't try and go necessarily for the like tank control method. At least not fully. There's a small hint of it, but not quite to like the older style. But that's a good thing, because don't get me wrong, I don't mind tank controls, but they're not exactly the best controls in the world. I don't mind them, but they're not the best. Flowers need watering. They look sad. Yeah, I see the bear trap right there. I'm not going to go straight into the bear trap. Nice try. Okay, should I go towards a carousel over there, or let's see about this guy. Hello there. Looks like Robot's arm is missing. In fact, a lever cannot be pulled. Ah, I see. So I need to find... Oh. That's a body bag. Oh, he's got flower crown. What a horrible smell. Can I take the flower crown? Is this a corpse? No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. Who the hell did this? And what is that on its head? That's a flower crown. The garland? I just called a flower crown. Oh, I guess I'm wearing the flower crown. Okay. Why? I don't know what the purpose of that is, but okay. We'll probably find out soon. 
I do like that the flashlight turns on automatically and we don't need like uh, press a button or try and equip it in the inventory. It just does it automatically. Ooh, first aid spray? Something is creepy coffin. Health spray, yep, your classic healing mechanics. In Sonic Hill, it's mostly health drinks and such and first aid kits. And of course, Resident Evil, it always has the first aid sprays as well as the herbs. The many different herbs. Mostly green, but sometimes they kind of go for either yellow, red, or and or blue. Depending on which Resident Evil. Nope, don't get stuck on the pumpkins. Or jack-o'-lanterns. My bad, my bad, my bad. Ooh, can I get some bubblegum? I can't interact with it. Okay, let's go towards the carousel. Whoa! Sit down! Yeah, I can't tell if that's actually just a regular person holding a knife, or is that some sort of doll and or mannequin. It's hard to tell without, like, actual proper confirmation. Because it does look a bit like a normal person, but it's hard to tell. The face kind of looks a little doll-like, but again, it's a bit hard to tell. Well, for all we know now, it's the enemy, so we're going to shoot it. Okay, the Ferris wheel's closed. Okay, I don't see anything over here. Let's try the other side of the carousel. Shotgun ammo. Good, good, good. Of course we're taking the shotgun ammo. I mean, seriously, do you need to ask? Hot dogs, hot dogs. Okay, I circled back over here to where we started. So we need to go over here. Can I go down to the carousel itself? You need to be this tall to enter. I think I'm that tall. Ammo for 9mm. We still don't have a 9mm yet. But we'll probably get one soon. Because these survival horror games you usually start off with a pistol, but you never stay with it. So we'll start getting more and more weapons. So normally the pistol is what we start off with. This case is a shotgun. But I'm not going to be complaining. It's a shotgun. Rifle ammo? A backpack's full? I took from course device. Well, what just makes you feel stronger when I wear it? Hmm. Okay, well, I, I will leave the rifle ammo there for now because we don't have a rifle yet. But we'll need to get rid of something just to get the pistol if we get it. Anything over here? Whoa! Nice try! What are you trying to hide back here? It's rifle ammo. Sail by salute! Yeah! <laughs> That's the game I mentioned, the one I played from the developers. It's a very... It was a game that was inspired by uh, Bioshock and such. Very fun game. That's a cool little uh, reference right there. So yeah, we don't have the ammo for the rifle. Once we get the pistol, we'll probably switch it out when it comes to the shotgun. Unless we start getting more shotgun ammo. As soon as I say it. More shotgun ammo. Maybe we should at least... What would I put away? I could put away the tokens. We do seem to use those for mostly saving. And maybe the missing poster. We might keep the garland because it says it makes me feel stronger when I wear it. So maybe it gives her a buff of some kind. I think we'll do that real quick, but we're not going to grab the rifle ammo again because, like I said, we don't have the rifle. So let's at least put away the tokens. I need to actually press store. And the poster. First aid sprays, we'll keep that on our uh, on us just in case we get hurt. We haven't got hurt yet, but you never know. Because chances are, those uh, dolls, I'm guessing they're dolls, are probably not going to be the only enemy we'll see in this game. I mean, well, that's kind of guaranteed. Okay, let's go up here before we go to our area to the left. Okay, bathrooms. Is there an enemy? 
What the? Okay, we'll go into random weird giant hole in the floor another time. But let's at least continue to finish looking around first before we just jump to a random hole. Okay. Female restroom. Ow! Shit! Okay, we just got stabbed to hell and back. Ow! Okay, we just got absolutely mauled to death there, almost. She just like, stab, 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 stab. Seriously, jeez. Okay, those guys are a stabbing machine. They make sure you don't come back out here alive. What's this? Oh, it's a laundry room. Yeah, we'll take the health spray, because we had to use one on the... The doll there that just <laughs> almost killed us. I mean, jeez. No mercy, no hesitation. Just bop, 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 bop. Deep fried churros. Of course, the tunnel of love. Man, this area is big. I do hope we get some sort of map system. Because I don't really know which where I need to go right now. If I need to go through the love tunnel over here or uh, whatever's over here to the right. That thing over there. Or if I need to go somewhere else entirely. It's hard to tell. I don't really know where I need to go. Okay, before we go through... Oh. Okay, it got hurt, but we're still fine. Uh, it looks like we're out of ammo in the shotgun, though. So unless there's ammo in here, it's not going to look in too good. Hopefully we get a 9mm soon, because if we don't, then we just need to run. What the? What the? I'm being shot by a jack-in-the-box! I'm sorry, I'm dying, first of all, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, there's a jack in the box in there with a gun. I'm just gonna go this way. Who gave who who had the bright idea to give a jack in the box a gun? An automatic from the sound of it. Okay, let's jump down the little hole over here. I can still hear the jack in the box just firing his gun. <laughs> Only one way down, I guess. Yeah, let's try it out before I do the tunnel of love looking thing. <laughs> We're just getting shot at by a jack in the box with a gun. <laughs> I got him. That is a cool idea, though. Just a random jack in the box just out of nowhere just pulls out a gun. That is cool. I don't really know where I'm going still. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. With no real, uh, like, objective markers or anything like that. Or Actually, I don't mind if there isn't objective markers, but I do hope there's some sort of map system. Uh, can I not grab the healing spray right there? I mean... It won't let me. Okay. You got me messed up a giant spider. Giant spider? Really now? Why can't I pick this stuff up? I'm pressing E. Do I need to do it at a specific angle? Oh, I'm think okay, I'm thinking that I do. Wait, hold on. Wasn't there ammo right here? What? Where did you go? Am I seeing stuff? Yeah, I'll take the shotgun shells, because we need to fight a giant spider, we're going to need it. I'm kind of regretting going down the hole. I probably should have checked out the tunnel love first, but... You! No, let me heal! It's too late. 
Or is it? I'm... W what's happening? I... Okay. Yep. Okay, we're gonna load last save. This time we're not gonna go through that little hole yet. We'll go through the Tunnel of Love first and check out that one little area over there. Okay, so we're back with the save. And we're not gonna go down the hole. We're gonna do the little stuff up here first. Like the, uh... Tunnel of Love and such like that. And I think this area over here. We didn't look over here, did we? This is a very big area. Very big and open. So we gotta look at every little corner. Just to make sure we don't end up missing anything that could be helpful. More tokens. Let's see. What about behind this building? There's a bear trap, of course. This her visit from a garbage truck. Yeah, but right now I'm trying to get to the <laughs> sealed by salute. That was a fun. That was a fun game. If you haven't checked my video on it, I definitely recommend it. It was a lot of fun. Okay, go in here. Nope. Lock's broken. That sucks. Does this lead anywhere or... Oh, wait. Hold on. Looks like it loops around. Okay, I know where this is. Can I even go inside? It's locked from other side. That'd be a no. Yeah, I know where this area is. Okay, so it's looping back around over here. And that means to the right should be the Tunnel of Love. Ooh. Some shotgun ammo. Yeah, we still hear the gunshots in the freaking Jagdabox. I don't know what gun he has. It looks... It, it's obvious it's some sort of automatic because, well... We can hear him go crazy with it. Just go in there, he has like an Uzi or something. Okay, let's go for the Tunnel of Love. What's this? The whole building is flooded. I can't seem to have to find a way to drain the stinky water. There is soggy note floating here. Read a note. Uh, no, 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 no need. Yes, we will. Dear team, just a quick heads up. Remember to drain the water and feed Tunnel of Love regularly. If we don't, the water can rise unexpectedly high. You can locate the main water valve in the utility shack behind the Tunnel of Love building. Thanks for your help. P.S. Please return the valve wheel. I've noticed some of the mysterious made mysteriously made her way into the nearby men's restroom. Okay, so... Okay, so we need to go through the hole in the men's room. And then... We need to get the valve. Okay, let's go down the hole. We went left into that one room, which led us to the spider. We're going to go a different direction. I do hope they make some sort of a map system. It would make traversing this place easy with how big these areas are. I mean, it could be a simple map like to do in Silent Hill and Resident Evil. That's all I'm asking, just something like that could easily be a bit more helpful. Can I even go this way? There's like a little part right here. Nope. Okay, well, can't go that way. Yeah, we went left that way. Let's just go straight forward instead. Let's see where it leads us. Where is this going to lead us? To shotgun ammo. How much ammo I got? Nine. Okay, yeah, we're good on our shotgun ammo. It takes two to take down one of the dolls. I still don't know if those actually are dolls or maybe there's something else. Took a wrong turn. Here we go. We didn't go in this room before, did we? No, we kind of skipped it. Ah, oh, if only I knew there was a save room. Of course. Is that another gun? I, I completely missed over this entire area. I'm an idiot. See, this is why we need a map system. <laughs> save successful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, hand me the gun. Don't get me wrong, I like the, um, lightweight revolver, great for everyday carry. I like the shotgun we have, but it's always helpful to have a good secondary. And we got ammo for it, too. Uh, we'll put the token we have in the box, along with the other tokens, just so we can have the one room space. We also have rifle ammo, but, well, we don't have a rifle. 
I still don't know if I should put up the garland. I mean, it says it makes me feel stronger when I wear it, so I don't know if it's like some sort of armor system with it or not. Also, what is this exactly with the rabbit drawing? Don't know. Where does this even lead? Door's locked from the other side, so I can't even go this way. Then it must be some sort of shortcut path, I'm guessing. Yeah, if only I had none of this was over here. Can I still not get this first aid spray? Oh wait, no, I know, we need to go around to get it. Yeah, that spider is... that's gonna be fun. We miss our shots. Can I really not get the ammo? Hmm. Oh wait, I think I get it. I need to go... yep, yep, here we go. Bada boom. Okay, we're pretty decent on our, um, ammo. How much for reloads? 6 out of 27. Okay, okay. Well, it is a revolver. Most revolvers are six shooters. I say most. I know some aren't. Shotgun shells. First aid spray. Good, good, good. Okay, now through this door is where we go against Mr. Spider. May I should do the shotgun. And I'm already dying. Is it just not hurting it? I'm dead. What the? Is the shotgun just not hitting it? Maybe I need to use the pistol. Let me load the save. Okay, let's try this again. This time, I'm going to use the pistol. Seriously? Wow, okay, so... Oh, you stand still to reload? Oh, that sucks. Okay. Can I even kill this thing with the guns? It feels like I almost can't. How much damage do you do? That's like our third first aid spray. Seriously, how many shots does it take? Is this a boss? It feels like a boss. Oh, it, I, it might be a boss. I... Huh? Okay, am I even supposed to kill this spider or am I supposed to run away from it? Because we've laid down a lot of bullets into it in shotgun shells. Either it's not registering or we can't actually kill this thing. We just need to run away from it. I'm thinking that's what we might need to do. Okay, this time we're just going to run away. It seems like we can't kill this thing. So I'm guessing we don't. I think we just need to run away from it. Let's get circling around this. Just so we create a bit of distance. Not bad, not bad at all. Door's stuck. I'm not trying to get the door, I'm trying to get the valve! Ow, it got us. Okay, we got the valve. Let me see if we can run away. If it won't let us, that means we need to kill it. But I'm hoping it'll let us... What? Okay, so we do need to kill it. Ow! Ow, we've shot it so many times. It just won't go down. We're injured. I'm going to just use one of these. Ah, I hate the reloading. I got him it. Come on, come on, come on. I hate that she just stands still for loading. It just... Oh, that annoys me. But yeah, this is essentially a boss. What? I'm pressing... Oh, I'm pressing E. 
Yeah, she just stands way too still for those. Yeah, this, this is essentially a boss here. A big-ass spider. <laughs> Survival horror classic. Giant big-ass spider. Okay, we need to create some distance first before I can reload this gun. Don't get stuck on the side now. There we go. Good, good, good. Create distance, because this thing's pretty fast. And obviously, it can take a lot of shots. So we got to create distance. All it takes is a little different. Distance. Oh yeah, it's real. I feel like I'm going insane. You probably are. Uh, okay. Uh, how hurt are you? If you're injured, no, it says you're still fine. Okay, uh, let's go and reload this just in case, but boom, spider down. So yeah, it wasn't one where you need to run away, it was basically just a little boss. A very fast one, but once you create enough distance, then you can take him out. Mr. Pebble says, hurry up. Wait, what? Hold on. Does it say hurry up, Haley? Hurry up, Haley, before I change my mind. Fuck you. <laughs> Good response. Hi. Okay, I recognize you from a poster over there, so you're Mr. Pebble. Ah, oh, you're a jester. You're not even technically a clown, you're a jester. That's cool. Because a lot of these carnival-style horror games, they always go for clowns. I like whenever they try and go for something different. Like, go for, like, uh, I don't know, in this case, a jester. I, I do like that. It goes for something different than your typical just clown. I like that. Something different. I like it. Yeah, going for like that instead of like a, instead of a clown. Because carnivals, if done right, you, yeah, yeah, I can see a lot of horror villains like acrobats, um, beast tamers, stuff like that. Make them into a horror villain and that could go well for this kind of game. But most games always go for like the clown kind of thing. Oh, and here we can show off the water. Boom! And then we can go through the tunnel of love. Oh, fancy shotgun ammo. Uh, nothing says love like shotguns. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Okay, hold on. Her blood was solid black. When we get hurt from the spider or by one of those little dolls or whatever, our blood is red. Her blood was straight, just pure black. Huh, so maybe these things aren't even humans. Maybe they are like a living doll or something. Okay, well, before we go for Tunnel Love, we'll head back to the employee area just so we can save. Because I don't want to have to do that spider fight again. I really am enjoying this game. It is fun. It is a lot of fun. Exactly my kind of style of game. Because like I said at the beginning, I am a sucker for these uh, survival horror games that go for the old... Uh, style of Silent Hill or Resident Evil. I love them. They're just so much fun to me. Whether it be this, but Crown, Hollow Body. I love them. They're just so much fun. And people get very creative with them. Such as this one. Okay, I don't have a token, so we need to grab one from the box. Still don't have a rifle yet, so no need to get the rifle ammo out. Save successful. That's what I'm talking about. Put the token back up. Keeping anything else. Okay, let's go. Reload that. And through the Tunnel of Love. <gasps> Avoid the bear trap. Here we go. Um, that wasn't normal. 
Okay, it looked like when the doll guys, but it's like they had like almost a mouth in their chest or something like that. I'm not sure, but definitely did not look normal, to say the least. Okay, wait, should we go left or right? Looks like we could probably go two different ways, I'm guessing. Oh, uh, hello. Can I shoot you for this? No, I don't think I can. And you can't get to me either. Yes, you can! Yeah, you can go through walls! They can go through walls. Good to know. I was over here gloating because I thought I couldn't get past the, the little gate right there, but nope. Bend the laws of physics, why don't ya? We don't need them. Okay, let's use the shotgun for a bit because it's starting to get a bit low on our handgun ammo. And we're about to get even more shotgun ammo. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Yeah, we got 19 shots here. We're good. Oh, not really much in the way of love over here. Wow, okay, if that really is just a ton of love ride, well then that's just a boring ride. Okay, I see the diver guy in the back of that trees there. That's literally the diver guy from uh, Sail by Salute. They're really trying to get people to play that game, huh? Well, it is a really good game, so I do recommend it. It's fun. I don't trust the Jack in the Box. I don't. Not after we got shot by the Jack in the Box. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Hold on, I know where this is. Should we do a save? We just did a save. Eh, I'd rather be safe than sorry. This might be stupid of me doing a save after we literally just did a save. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Plus, this is just a demo, so. And yeah, I don't trust that Jack the Box. Not after the Jack the Box that tried to shoot us up. There we go. Jeez, I'm gonna take a few shots. I don't trust that Jack in the Box. theater machine. Oh, I guess there was nothing in the Jack and Box. I wonder what these cranks do. Uh, no, we'll probably find out soon. And it cats on a hill so high, a king and a queen ruled beneath the sky, while their love was strong and steady. The crowd was fuming with terrible envy. Okay. I... Okay. Don't really know what any of that means, but okay. Huh. Is it supposed to be a poem? Oh, is it a code? Hold on. Let me see what these cranks do. If one of them is a castle, then that's the first crank we need to do. No, that's a queen. Yeah, take her back. We need to do a crown. Uh, not a crown. A, uh, a castle first. Yeah, it's a puzzle. Who the fuck is this guy with the chin? <laughs> okay, we have a queen, a guy with a sword. No, not that one, this one. There's a castle. What's this last one? King. Okay. Hold on. Let me read this. A king and a queen ruled beneath the sky. Okay, so we did the castle. We've done the king. Then we need to do queen. Then the guy with envy, I guess. Ah, that's the wrong one. I'm guessing the random guy is the crowd who was uh, fuming with envy. 
Yeah, king, castle high, a king and a queen. Then came a challenger with sword in hand. His eyes on fire stood there with a demand. He wanted a queen's love and a king dead. And soon both stood in front to fight till death. So, do we need to add a guy and take away the queen? It seems like that's what we need to do. So it sounds like it's a fight between the king and the uh, challenger. Or oh, that's enough. They fought gracefully, yet fate fooled them in the end. The mighty king and the brave challenger both end up dead. With only a weeping queen left behind. The one type king was covered in crimson light. So we need to take away the challenger and the king. All that's left is the queen, and there's a crimson light. I'm all that's left is queen, yeah. And we got a key. A uh, key to what? The blue key. Well, that doesn't help. Does there a description on it? Found this locked door, maybe it opens a door somewhere at the Tunnel of Love. Did we see a key in the... I mean, see a door in the Tunnel of Love? I don't think we... Oh, wait. Is it talk about this door? It's talk about this door. Bada boom. Simple and easy. There we go. Oh, I see the robot arm. Okay, we know where we need to use that. Yep. Uh-oh. Full of what? What did... Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, I guess I need to make a stop. And put away the health spray or something? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I guess maybe it takes up the room of two? Okay, well, then I'll head back to uh, to save. Still worried about that jack-in-the-box, though. That's my concern, the jack-in-the-box over here. Called it! Nice try. Nice try. Also, did it hold on a Chicago typewriter? Like, what was that? Okay, I put a wave... The ammo. Okay, so yeah, it takes up two spaces like the shotgun did. So I put away the extra ammo we had for the revolver. I mean, it still has at least six shots in it. So that could take down at least one enemy. But we have a lot more ammo for the shotgun. So I'm hoping it won't be too much of a problem. We just need to take the robot arm back over to... Uh, my brain fried there. Back to the front of the place. Oh, it's like the gate's open now. Well, that's helpful. Yeah, that makes us go by a lot faster. Thank you. Oh, what is it? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, it's Mr. Pebble. You look cool. I will admit, I like your design. It's cool looking. Oh, the nightmare continues. There's no trouble again, to consider. Oh yeah, I'm wishlisting this on Steam, 100%. That, that was my bread and butter, basically. You guys know I'm a sucker for uh, PSX-style uh, survival horror games. There'd be uh, the many, many older horror games I have played on channel, like Resident Evil, Sawn Hills, Dino Crisis. I love these style of games. They're just so much fun to me. They're so much fun. So that was definitely my bread and butter. I love the setting, love the atmosphere. The enemies were interesting and fun. Uh, we didn't get too much story-wise, besides our character's looking for her sister. I do wish there was a bit more of a reaction from our character on a few things. I do think a map system would do wonderful for this kind of game. Some sort of map system. Something as simple as just like a map of the area. That's it. Something like that. From like, like to do in a, in a, in Sound Hill. Something like that. Something simple like that could help out a lot. But besides that, this game's fun. And I can tell I'm going to enjoy this when it comes out. Because, yeah, I'm playing it. 100%. You guys know... This is my bread and butter when it comes to horror games. I love them. 
Uh, but that's it for this demo, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me and the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave it in the comments down below. But until then, I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome!